My name is Tobega and we'll be doing Carental Part 2 whereby we'll be doing the calculations. On my previous video we spoke about Carental and we spoke about additional cost related to renting a car. So here we have an activity that we're going to do together. We are going to match the charges to the explanations. Here we have the explanations and here we have it, here we have charges. So I am going to use a highlighter to highlight our answers. So the first one says um, a charge that applies to every vehicle rented from an airport location. We call that an airport surcharge. And then let us look at the second one, it says a fee that is applicable if the renter crosses a border, we call that cross-border fees. And then number three, a fee that is charged for delivery and collection of the rented vehicle, we call that delivery and collection charges and then let us look at number four a renter a fee that is applicable when a vehicle is picked up and dropped off at a different location by the renter we call that the one way rental And then we have what we call the, this is to cover the cost of extant administration. That is administration fee for accidents. So number one is airport surcharges. Number two is cross border fee. Number three, it's delivery and collection charges. Number four is one-way rent rental fees. And number five is administration fee for accidents. We have different car rental options on two tables. We have the standard cover and the super cover. So the difference between the standard and the super cover is a type of insurance you choose to take out. And there's also additional information what the rates include and what the rates exclude. So we have an example. It says a client wants to hire a Group B car with standard insurance over five days. He is 32 years old and will be traveling alone. He will collect and drop off the car at the rental depot. Calculate what he will have to pay, what the excess will be, and determine what is needed and excluded in this rate. So what is important is we look at once a groupie car, um, standard insurance, that means we look at the first um, table and he wants the car for five days. So let us go to the first table, which is the standard insurance. So he wants a group B car for five days. So that means we look at the first column, which is the one to six days. So the amount there is 365. So we say 365 times five days and we get 1,825 rands. The contract, the contract fee is not included. This means that an additional 45 rands must be added to the charge. The excess will be 7,000 rands. This is the excess. This is where they get the 7,000 amount from. VET and insurance, ex what is excluded is fuel and the contract fee. In case you're wondering where they get the 45 rands, they get it from here.
after looking at the previous example we will now attempt to answer the following question so we have to do the same calculation using the same information but now we're looking at super cover insurance that means we're looking at this table now so it's a group b car and it's for five days so that means we look at the first column that means the amount is 410 so it's 410 multiplied by 5 and the answer is 250 rands so we have to add the contract fee of 45 rands and we also have to look at the excess and the excess amount is 3000 rands Okay, guys, let us look at another example and then try to answer the questions. So we have to calculate various current options. In each case, you must indicate what the accessible payable and state what is included and excluded in the rate quoted. Number one, a client wants to hire a group RAV4 vehicle for three days with standard insurance. We have two tables, but we'll look at the standard insurance tables so it's a RAV4 so that means we look at this column remember the client wants the car for three days so we look at the first column that means the client will pay 297 rents so we say 297 297 multiply multiply by 3 which equals to 891 rands they said we must include the excess And the excess that is payable is 4,500 francs. Four thousand five hundred francs. Okay, we're done. Then let us look at number two. So what is included here are the things, this is what we look at. So what is included, it's unlim unlimited mileage, airport surcharge, tourism levy, and so forth. So number two, a client wants to hire a RAV13 vehicle for seven days with standard insurance. So again, we look at the first table and we look at RAV13. And the client wants the car for seven days. So that means we look at the second column, which is the triple nine. So the amount is 999. And then we multiply it. We multiply the amount by seven. And the amount is 6,993 and then let us look at the excess the 
the excess payable is 5,000 rand. Let us look at number three. A client wants to hire a group RAV3 vehicle for five days with super cover insurance. So we look at the second table and the client wants RAV3. So we look at the first row and the client wants the car for five days. So this is the amount, 302. So we say 302 multiply multiply by 5, which equals to 1510. And then let us look at the excess amount. The excess is 2,500 francs. Two thousand five hundred. Okay, we're done with that. Let us look at number four. A client wants to hire a group RAV5 vehicle for 14 days with super cover insurance. So we look at the super insurance table RAV5 and the client wants the car for 14 days. So that means we look at the third column, the 318. And then we say 318 multiply multiply by 14 days and the amount is 4,452 rands and then the excess how much is the excess The excess is 2,500 rands. We will now look at another example and attempt to answer it. So Mr. Sitole wants to rent a group T vehicle for two days. He will select the following options. 200 kilometers free per day, a GPS, personal in accident insurance, insurance for the windscreen and tires in case of an accident. Number one, what will he have to pay for the rental? So we will look at this table. So Mr. Sitole wants 200 kilometers free. So that means he will pay 266 rands. So here we will say 266 rands multiply multiply by 2. And the answer is 532 rands. However, we'll have to add GPS. Mr. Sitole wants GPS. And GPS is 59 rands per day. So we will say Fifty nine rents multiply fifty 
by 2. And the answer is 118. And we add our 532. And our answer is 615. And then we we'll also have to add the personal in accident insurance, which is 25 rands per day. Which is 25 rands per day. So we multiply that. with 2 and our answer is 50 rands so we add our 615 and our answer is 700 rands and then we also have to add the windscreen and the windscreen is 15 rands. It's 15 rands. So we say 15, 15, 15. multiply by 2. And the answer is 30 plus 700 rands. And the answer is 730 rands. That's how much Mr. Sutole would have to pay. Let's look at number two. What will be the excess liability in the event of an accident? The excess will be 1,800 rands. 1,800 rands. Number three. If Mr. Sitole wants an additional driver to be allowed to drive the vehicle, how much will he have to pay? Let us look at our table. Um, he would have to pay 175 rands the driver. So number three, you would have to pay 175 rands. Okay, let us look at number four. If Mr. Sutola travels 250 kilometers instead of first stipulated 200, 200 kilometers, how much will he have to pay? So now we look at the unlimited mileage. So Mr. Sutola would have to pay 321 rands. So we would say 321 rands multiply multiply by 2 and the answer will be 642 rands. And then we'll also add, we will also add the GPS, which is 50 rands. And that is equals to no, the GPS is 118 rands, guys, not 50, 118 rands. So the total is 830. Then we add the 50 rands for personal insurance. And then it equals to 
818 and then we also have to add that 30 rands for windscreen and the total is 910 but let me quickly check something okay i think i think we good i think i think my calculations are good Okay, guys, we will now look at another example and attempt to, to answer it. Okay, so Mr. Sitolo again wishes to hire a vehicle. This time he plans to hire from a different car hire. He wants the same vehicle, which is a Kia Picanto similar, as he has hired from Tempest Car Hire. He would like to take out the super insurance cover on the vehicle. So question one, what would he have to pay for the following? The rental for two days. He plans to travel 200 kilometers per day. A GPS insurance in the event of a damage to the windscreen insurance in the event of damage to tires and an additional driver. So we'll be looking at this. And since Mr. Sitole wants a super cover and a cap, we can too, we'll be looking at this box. So Mr. Sitole wants 200 kilometers per day. So that means he will be paying 548 rents, 69 cents. So the rate is already a two-day rental, so we don't have to multiply it by two. So we'll say 548,69 cents plus GPS. Mr. Sitole wants GPS. So a GPS is 100 rand per parent's home. So he will pay an additional 100 rand, which equals to 648 rand, 69 cents. And then we also have to add the windscreen insurance. Now let's look at the windscreen insurance. It's 60 rands, comma, one cent. So he will pay an additional 60 rands, comma, one cent, which equals to 708, comma, seven cents. And then we also have to add the insurance for the tires. So the insurance for tires is 89 rand, comma, nine, nine cents. So we add that amount, which 89 rand, comma, nine, nine, which equals to 798,69 cents. And then we also have to add the additional driver that Mr. Sitola requested. And an additional driver is 150 per rental. So we add the 150. which equals to 948 rent plus the contract fee of 40 rent and the total is 988 that's how much Mr. Sitole would have to pay. So now let us look at number two. 
If Mr. Sitole was planning to travel 500 kilometers, he would choose the unlimited kilometers option. What would this cost him? So let us go back to our table. And the super cover unlimited is 688 rand, 21 cents. So now the amount is 688. 21 cents and then we add the GPS again which was 100 which equals to 788 cents and then we add the windscreen insurance which was 60 rand comma zero cents that equals to 848,22 cents and we add the insurance for tires which was 89,99 cents and that equals to 938 138,21 cents and then we also add the additional driver which is 150 115 and then the total now is 1,088 rands comma 21 cents plus Plus the contract fee of forty rands. So the total is one thousand one hundred and twenty eight rands, comma twenty one cents. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful and you now know how to do rental calculations better please remember to read instructions carefully because what you are expected to calculate may not be the same as you have seen with the examples we did we the calculations are a bit different so please remember to take your time and read the instructions and if you still don't understand or you still have problems please comment down below so that i can be able to assist you don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a video thank you so much bye for now